Assalamu alaikum dear friends, I am engineer Sepul and you are watching Sepul Engineer at Site YouTube channel. So today I have another video in the series of interview question and answer for civil engineer, site engineer, KV, QC engineer and today our video is also about the concrete. So before starting the video, our video please subscribe our YouTube channel, like the video and comment your suggestion and feedback in the comment box or if you have any issue you can also ask in the comment section. So let's start the video. When you attend the interview for a KV, QC engineer as a site engineer mostly they ask that what are the steps involved in the concreting process the first thing and you have to answer this in a proper way in a proper sequence the first things when you order concrete the batching plant start batching batching the measurement or the measuring of concrete ingredient or concrete material like a coarse aggregate sand cement water like that when they complete batching or measuring these materials, after this they start mixing. They mix all the material in a proper way. After the mixing of the concrete, the third step is transportation. They transport the concrete. After mixing it, you get the concrete and they have to transport that concrete to the side. And when you properly transport the material to the side, then you have to place the concrete. After the placing of concrete, there will be compaction. To compact the concrete in a proper way as per codes, as per quality standards, you have to compact the, the concrete. After compaction the concrete, one day or two days minimum, uh, 24 hours in the summer, and uh, 36 to 48 hours in the winter you have to remove the shuttering and after the shuttering or after the sitting out time of the concrete you have to start the keeping so the process of concreting batching mixing transportation compaction and keeping these are the pro proper steps involved in the concreting process the second question is describe describe briefly the various method of concrete pouring the last step part was the concrete pour, uh, curing and here you have to describe they can ask for what are the various steps uh, various methods to cure the concrete curing concrete is the most important uh, if, uh, factor for the life of concrete for uh, durability of concrete so there are some so let's start shading by this method the evaporation of water is locked in the concrete surface shading like you can bring the plastic and you can shed the material by plastic or by any other material when you shed the concrete so the evaporation will be stopped and it will be locked in there after shedding the second method is covering you can cover the surface of the concrete with any waterproof material sprinkling water like one day or two day one day in like maximum winter if this summer so you can one day two day three day you can cover the concrete by sprinkling potable water on the concrete surfaces Founding you can make fonts on the surfaces of the concrete like especially in the slabs like that so it's also as a uh, method of curing Membra membrane curing you can also the process of membrane curing steam curing steam curing also used for the pre-cost concrete in the factories and also there is a curing compound chemical you can also do the curing compound use the curing compound uh, chemical as a curing method so next next question why is concrete slum test carried out if interview asks you why you are carrying out the slum test so your answer will be not too much explainable just short you have to say to find the workability of concrete to bind the workability of concrete for this purpose, we are doing the slum testing. Question number four What is water cement ratio and how it's related to the strength of concrete? This is the most important question they can ask you in the interview, and you have to know about this because this is a technical interview for the job. You have to say the water cement ratio is the ratio of weight of water to the weight of cement used in the concrete mix. If you change or you disturb the water cement ratio, the workability of the concrete will be automatically changed. Lower ratio leads to higher strength and workability, but make the mix difficult to work. Low workability of concrete mix. Workability can be increased with the use of it mixtures. Chemicals you can increase the workability at site also. Fifth question: What you will do if the cylinders taken during the casting of concrete? didn't achieve the 
final strength are the required strength it's very easy you know you don't have to be nervous at this time it's very easy first thing you have to do the non-destructive test on the concrete side like Schmidt hammer test if it is acceptable by the consultant if this is not acceptable by the consultant and the these are rejected by the consultant so the second thing you have to bring the laboratory technician or laboratory as uh, guys to the site they will take some cylinders from the concrete which did it you did it site and they have to test that slender sample at the laboratory and after the result you have to follow the next steps like if its results are acceptable by the consultant and it's uh, achieved the required uh, required uh, strength so you don't have to worry and you have to fill that area which from where you take the cylinders with the non-string ground and the problem will finish six to increase the workability of concrete what you will do at site in case you bring the concrete uh, to the site and like it's a uh, summer and summer you are doing the concrete and it's losing its workability and concrete are getting hard so when you're getting hard so it's very really hard to do or to execute the work and cross that concrete so what you will do will you add the water inside or what you would know adding water inside is prohibited it's not allowed it is not as per quality and as per ACI course so it's simple question simple answer is you have to add it mixtures chemicals or plasticizer inside and after taking approval from the consultant you have to add plasticizer so its workability will be more and you will cause the concrete easily why i am saying also take approval from the consultant this is not engineering your notes it is as you are going to uh, for the job interview if you do anything without taking approval from the consultant so maybe your work will be rejected so for in each and everything you have to take the consultant in your mind you have to take approval you have to discuss with them and they will cooperate with you also thank you so much guys for watching the video and if you like the uh, find the video informative please like our video subscribe our youtube channel for us more videos like that thank you so much